Hello and welcome to your yoga practice to open the heart and the hips. So this is a wonderful practice to do if you're a writer or an artist or anyone who is working at a desk or seated for long periods of time. We're going to focus on opening the parts of the body that often become tight when we're in seated positions for long periods of time. So roll out your mat, hop into something comfy, and let's get started. Take a moment to come to a comfortable cross-leg seated position on your mat, bringing your hands together at your heart center, and just taking a few nice deep breaths here. Feel free to release the hands to the knees or the shins, and just focus on taking nice deep inhalations through the nose and exhale through the mouth grounding in this moment, setting aside the to-do list and landing here. All right, take a deep breath in, reach up to the sky, elongate through the spine, and on your exhale, bring the hands together and open the chest up to the sky, look up. Descend the hands to the heart center, inhale, same thing, reach up tall. Bring the hands together and exhale, look up, open the chest. Descending to the heart, inhale, reach. Open through the chest, through the heart, lower to the chest. Breathing here. Setting an intention for this class. Now go ahead and open the chest, look up, and as you exhale, pull the navel to the spine. So seated cat cow here, nice and easy. Inhale, open the chest, look up towards the sky or the ceiling. Exhale, pull that navel into the spine. Inhale, open. And exhale, curve through the spine. A few more times, just like that. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, open up. Exhale, curve through the spine. Inhale, open. Exhale. If you find a place that feels good, you can hold here for a moment, pulling the navel to the spine. Inhale, come back to center. Now we're gonna go ahead and come to our tabletop position sinking to our hips into child's pose. Coming down to the mat, you can allow the forehead to rest on the mat or on a block, extending the hands in front of you. Rolling through to your belly, coming up into a baby cobra, peeling the chest open. Exhale, back into child's pose. Nice fluid motion, just like a wave here. Roll to the belly. Wheel the chest open, look up, baby cobra. Exhale, descending back to child's pose. Inhale, roll through, baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Breathe in, coming into baby cobra. And now we're going to take the hands, flatten them against the mat, Elbows directly under shoulders, coming into Sphinx Pose here. So your elbows are resting on the mat, you're opening the chest, thinking of rolling the shoulder heads back. Opening through the heart center here as you breathe and look slightly up. Be kind to your neck here. So if it feels better to look straight, go ahead and look straight. But if you can, you can open the throat a little bit. On your exhale, we're going to push into the mat and push back into child's pose once again. Rolling through, maybe coming to upward facing dog on the inhale and exhale, coming back into our first downward facing dog. Take a moment here to walk it out. Breathing deep, moving the hips, the feet, 
Really just make it fun here. Stretch out the body, find as much movement as you want. Maybe incorporate the shoulders, maybe incorporate some movement in the fingertips. Just really make this moment your own. Now roll through into plank, look up, flex the spine, roll back into downwards facing dog. Bend the knees, roll forward into plank, look up, exhale, downward facing dog. So we're leading with the tailbone. So we roll forward, look up, lead with the tailbone, push back. Bend the knees, roll through, exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, down dog. Holding this downward facing dog as you breathe deeply here. Now we're going to take that left hand and reach for the right calf or ankle or thigh. Taking a little twist in this downward facing dog. You can close your eyes, you can look at the floor, or you can glance up toward the navel. Exhale back to center. Now we're going to reach with the right hand for that left calf or ankle. Twisting to the opposite side. Twisting from the belly, not the hips. The hips are staying exactly where they were. Come back to center. Walking slowly to the front of the mat. We're going to inhale, bend the knees and sway side to side. Let the hands become heavy. Let the arms be loose as you sway side to side here, letting the belly cascade over the thighs rolling up on the next inhalation and reach all the way up. Looking up, if you can, maybe back slightly, opening through the chest, lower hands to heart. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're going to grab that right hand with the left and we're going to bump the hips to the right bending towards the left side, look up towards the sky and the standing bend opening up through the side body back to center now we're catching that left hand with the right bending to the right looking up towards that left arm bumping the hips to the left inhale back to center reach look up if you can exhale hands to heart Exhale, bring the hands to the side, Tadasana. Standing up nice and tall through the spine. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, cascading down to the floor. Bend the knees if that feels better. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, let's step it back into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a few nice deep breaths here. In your next inhalation, go ahead and step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, bend the knees and roll up through the spine. Open the chest, look up, hands to heart. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, once again, look up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe it out. On the next exhale, we're going to crunch that right leg forward, hovering it above the mat for a moment as we crunch it into the chest and then step it forward between your two hands. Pivoting on the back foot, opening up into warrior two, reaching the arms, extending and opening, bending into that front knee, but making sure that the front knee is not passing over the ankle. You should be able to see your front toes so that knee is not turning in. 
Inhale, reach up with the hands, bring them together. Straighten the front leg. Now you can catch the hips here as you allow the pelvis to tilt forward as if you're reaching forward for something and then bringing that hand, that right hand to the mat and reaching up through the left, triangle pose, trikonasana, looking up at that left hand, gazing towards the sky. Open the chest, feel the mat beneath your feet, really grounding down through all four corners of the feet. Pivoting on your back foot, come down into low lunge. Maybe shift back and forth here. Drop that left knee to the floor, flatten the foot. So now we're down in a low lunge, resting the back knee. And then you can interlace your fingers and come up to rest on that knee, resting your hands on the knee, supporting yourself here as we just really focus on opening through that left hip flexor. So our hips can become really tight when we're sitting for long periods of time. And this is just giving us an opportunity to open through our hips. Let's just breathe here and really guide that breath into the hips. Breathing through any feelings of tightness. Reaching up on the inhale. Exhale, hands descend to the mat. Tuck the back toes under and step back into plank. Chaturanga, inhaling, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. On our next exhale, crunch the left knee in, hold for a moment, hovering above the mat, and then step that left foot between the hands. Pivoting on the right foot and coming up once again into warrior two on the other side, gazing over the front fingertips, sinking into that front knee. Looking over the front fingertips. Allowing ourselves to really ground here and find our strength, find your power. Your arms arrow straight, your chest open. Bring your hands together, reach up, straighten the front leg. We're going to tip the hips forward, tipping from the pelvis, reaching forward, reaching forward, reaching forward, until finally we descend that hand to the mat, reaching up through the right hand to the sky. Balancing on those left fingertips, really grounding down through the feet. You can keep your gaze down on the mat or look up towards the sky or ceiling. Really thinking about stacking the limbs here, stacking the hips, stacking the shoulders, and opening the heart space. So this is helping us to open through the chest, whereas when we're, when we're working and on the computer or texting on a phone, we are closing up our chest, we're hunching. This is helping to reverse all of that. Go ahead and bring your gaze to the floor bending into that front knee, frame the foot, coming into low lunge, rock a bit here, pump it out. Take a moment, take a breath. Now go ahead and lower that right knee to the floor and perhaps come up, interlace your fingers and rest your hand on your left knee. Finding that support as we begin to open through that right hip flexor, releasing any tension and be patient with yourself here. Our hips tend to be storehouses for a lot of emotion. So don't push yourself past your edge. Be really loving with yourself as you begin to slowly open your hips, finding that flexibility little by little each time we practice. Inhale, reach the arms up now. Exhale, rain it down to the mat below. Tuck the back toes and step back into plank. Exhaling through chaturanga, upward facing dog. And exhale, sink back into child's pose, opening the knees, letting the torso fall between the thighs. Breathe here. 
rolling up now to a seated position. Interlace the fingers behind the back and just open through the chest. See if you can pull the hands away from the back. So you're straightening through the arms, you're opening the chest. Exhale, descend to child's, po child's pose, forehead to the mat. Your arms are reaching up toward the sky. Inhale, sit back up, open the chest. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale again, roll up to seated. Look up, open. Exhale, fold to child's. Again, rolling up. This time, maybe come to your knees and reach all the way back, extending through the arms, maybe throwing the head back if it feels good. Breathing into the belly, opening through the chest. And exhale, cascading to the mat, child's pose. Inhale, come up, release the hands, reach up. Exhale, going to make our way onto our toes, coming into a toe stand here. So lifting our knees up, they can be together or apart and balancing on the toes. Bringing the hands together at the heart, just see how this feels. You can also bring your hands to the mat if the balance feels a little bit iffy today. Now we're, we're all going to bring our hands to the mat and we're going to just rock forward and backward and side to side on the feet, opening up through the feet, the toes. We often take our feet for granted and um, we don't stretch them very much, especially when we're sitting or we're in restrictive shoes all day. Give your feet some love right here, right now. Take this moment for them. Now go ahead and flatten the feet. Come back into child's pose. And then roll forward on the inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Walk it out, shake out the legs, take a moment. Notice how this down dog feels in comparison to the first one. Maybe you feel more open. Go ahead and look to the top of your mat on your inhale. Step through. Inhale, lift up halfway, elongate through the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rolling up, reaching up. Open the chest and sink the hands to the heart. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sink the hands to the heart. Inhale again, reach all the way up. Exhale, we're going to step the right foot back into warrior one, reach up with the arms. Exhale, same thing, squeeze the shoulder blades, cactus arms. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the mat, pivot on the back foot, step back into plank, and flow. Upward dog to downward dog. Go ahead and step through once again. Halfway lift, inhale, and fold. Rolling up through the spine, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. This time we're going to step back with our left foot into warrior one. Reaching up, exhale, cactus arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. Reach and squeeze. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, rain it down to the mat. Pivot on the back foot and step into Chaturanga. Taking a flow here. Upward dog. Exhale, child's pose. Rest the forehead. Take a few deep breaths here as we begin to cool down.
Inhale, rolling up to a seat. And now we're just going to transition however you need to to your back. So we're gonna reach forward and then roll down through the spine, coming all the way to a flat back position along the center of the mat. And then we're going to just go ahead and bring the knees to the chest, giving yourself a hug, squeezing your knees in. Then plant your feet, hip width apart, press into the hands and lift up into bridge. So really think about pushing the hips up. Inhale, bridge, exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting up, bridge pose. Exhale, lower to the mat. Inhale, lift up, nice and easy. And now if you want to here, you can interlace the fingers and bring them underneath the back still lifting up and holding this bridge, or you can continue to lift up and down, rolling along the spine. Whatever feels best to you here, listen to your body. If you're holding in this bridge pose, just breathe, and then exhale lower down to the mat. Hug the knees to the chest, now we're gonna go ahead and spread the arms wide and allow the knees to drop off to the left, glancing to the right. So we're just slightly turning the head to look over that opposite shoulder, twisting the body. This is wonderful for the spine and the internal organs. Come back to center. And now we're gonna drop the knees off to the right. Look over that left shoulder. So nice gentle supine twist here as we round out our practice and get ready to sink into a nice relaxing Shavasana. Come on back to center. Go ahead and extend the legs, extend the arms. Get comfy here, shift your weight, do whatever you need to do to get super comfortable and then allow the body to drop into the mat with a nice deep exhale. Sinking into the mat beneath you, allowing the body to completely release and let go. Taking a few slow, steady breaths and allowing the thoughts in your mind to just let go. Letting the thoughts pass by like clouds, not attaching ourselves to any one thought, just letting ourselves completely and fully tap into this moment of rest, peace, and relaxation. If you'd like to stay in the Shavasana for much longer, I invite you to pause the video and stay for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move on with your day and close out this practice with me, go ahead and move your fingers and your toes, the arms and legs, bending the knees and rolling off to one side, taking a pause here. Breathing in this fetal position before you press slowly up to a seated position along the center of your mat. Inhale, reaching the arms up and looking up toward the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Taking a moment to thank yourself for this beautiful practice you've cultivated today. Thank you so much for taking this time to practice yoga with me. 
I send you so much love and I wish you so much joy in your journey. I'll see you again soon. Namaste.